Hey, you guys. So, I'm starting off my weekly vlog by going to the doctor. Yay. That, that's one of the places that I really can't stand going. <laughs> it's to the doctor. So, I'm going to the doctor. And then I'm going to go and um, check my P.O. box because I should have a package there but it, there is some weirdness regarding that package so um, the company reached out to me on Instagram and asked me to do a review of their hair on Instagram so I say okay that's fine but they're sending me the hair from China okay that's fine too but now this is the third but they need my address so this company is exactly the reason why i went and got the p.o box because i this is random and i'm not giving out my address so maybe about three or four days after i did receive a text message from dhl telling me my delivery was on the way and it had an estimated delivery date of september 13th so it was longer than that. Well, anyway, that, that doesn't matter. So on September 13th, I I got um so there was a link in that in that um text message that I got from DHL telling me to confirm my address. I didn't click the link. So I think I got maybe two or three more of that same message. I still didn't click the link though. Because I didn't understand what the hell I needed to click a link to confirm my address when this the shipper already put the address on there. So on September 13th, it was at 9.05 p.m. I got a text message from DHL telling me that they were unable to deliver my package because the address was wrong. Now, I know that the address that I gave to the company is correct, right? But I didn't, and, and in that text message, it was telling me to click the link to correct my address. I'm not clicking links from random places. I don't know if that's really DHL. And if the, the driver couldn't deliver my package, why, why are they texting me rather than calling me on the phone? It was just weird to me. And the, the reason why I feel like it was weird is because some asshole has been calling my phone and not saying nothing since last year. So I say hello and it's silence. It isn't, it isn't the scammers, it's somebody that's stalking me. And the reason why I say I don't think that it's the scammers because the scammers talk to you. They have to talk to you to try to trick you out of your money. So what i was doing is when i answer the phone i was saying hello they don't say nothing i just hang up or what, what have you but recently because it's still going on recently um what i've been doing is answering my phone and putting 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 it on mute so they can't hear me so once i started doing that the calls this the calls started coming less because they were calling me two or three times a day but Somebody somebody called me and I said hello and they were talking to somebody in the background. So I said hello again. And this person said, oh, oh, I have the wrong number. So that's the person who was scamming me. So I think that this whole thing has something to do with that person that's scamming me because they don't know where I live. Stalking me, I should say, because they don't know where I live. So since monday that was monday the 13th um i haven't heard anything back from dhl like i haven't received any calls from dhl like why dhl didn't contact me they have my phone number to text me but they won't call me on the phone to confirm my address to deliver it i mean i was talking to one of my girlfriends and she said that some of the companies don't deliver to p.o boxes and and maybe i'm i'm overthinking it and that could be the case but they haven't contacted me at all to say anything about my delivery they didn't tell me that it was being going it was going back to the seller 
they didn't tell me that um th they didn't tell me anything so i honestly think that it's that person that was stalking me or is stalking me thank god i moved but anyway um i'm going to after i leave the doctor i'm going to my p.o box to see if there's anything in there and i'll let y'all i'll let you guys know the outcome of that hey you guys so i got a clean bill of health i just came from the post office <laughs> and all that rambling i did a little while ago was wrong it was wrong i did have a package there <laughs> but i'm still watching you stalker hey you guys so i'm on the road again <laughs> on my way to my mom's house we're having a mother-daughter day so you know we're going to we're going to get some facials and um have lunch i guess she said my daughter's trust out i need to treat her or something i don't know but she's making me drive all the way to her house now i'm just kidding she doesn't even live that far she probably it takes me about 10 minutes to get to her house but um you know it makes sense we're going to um eat lunch she wanted barbecue i don't know about barbecue because i really only like my own barbecue but i'm i'm just going because that's what she wants to eat barbecue so we'll go eat barbecue and get our facials and hopefully i'll feel better once we once that's um done so i'll see you guys in a few oh but before i go you know what's the weirdest thing I'm, I'm one of them type of people who don't like to wear blonde hair often. But if I wear blonde hair, I have to have on makeup. I don't know why. I don't, it doesn't seem like blonde hair blends in with my skin tone. But anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the bed. So we made it to the place where we're going to have lunch. It's called... Blue Pit Smokehouse. I don't know about this area though. We we gonna see. Say hi, mom. Hi. We gonna see. I I just picked it out of the clear blue. Hopefully the food is good. Yeah. It better be. It better. So I always forget to record the food. So I'm gonna make sure I remember today. So I have potato wedges. And pulled pork, I know I don't have no business. Oh, look at that, eating pork. What you got, Mom? I got turkey. What, what was it called? Smoked turkey? Smoked turkey. And the same wedges. Yeah. So we gonna enjoy our food and talk to y'all later. Say bye. Say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> so this is what my plate is looking like now. And that's hers. But we're both full, right? Yes. <laughs> So now, it's, where we going? Now I'm going to get our facial. Yes. What did you say? I said about time. I'm glad you enjoying the place because I really enjoyed the food. It was really, really good. And what's the name of it? The Blue Pick Smokehouse. Yes. yes and I'm they have live bands on the weekend. Yes. Yeah. So our lunch was was pretty good. Yeah. And, and um. Yeah, they gave us some peach cobbler, but I was too full to eat my peach cobbler. Um, it was a very pleasant atmosphere. Like this is a the, the food was good. The atmosphere was very pleasant. And um I'm coming back here again. I'm coming back here again. Yeah, I'm coming back here again. Boop. Yeah, I'm 53. I've been through menopause already. No birth control. No pregnancy scares, da da da. <laughs> and guess what else I don't do? The nasty. <laughs> so, hey guys, I'm getting ready to do my uh, microderm abrasion. Can I put you on camera? Hi. Hey, say <laughs> hi, Vicky. <laughs> hi. <laughs> so, we'll see. I she she did she just did my mother and she did extract some blackheads for her so hopefully she'll be able to get this black cat out the middle of my forehead but <laughs> my battery is going dead so i'll be back <laughs> hey you guys 
so we finished getting our microderm abrasion. I'm just leaving my mother's house. I'm on my way home. Um, so that that restaurant that we went to, the the people who worked there were really, really, really friendly. I'm gonna put a picture here of us outside of the restaurant. But also, it's kind of like a um, country western place. And if you don't know, <laughs> I like country music. So now you know. So the, the young lady who was our waitress, um, she told me that they have um, the bar open on the weekend, on Friday night and Saturday night. But I'm, I'm gonna try it out and see how I like it. I'll, I'll do a little vlogging while I'm there. So um, that'll be that'll be all for today. I'm just gonna continue vlogging for the rest of the weekend.